A Dallas ISD trustee is calling on city council to put a moratorium on new charter schools in the southern part of the city. She believes the area is already saturated with charters, which is hurting neighborhood schools. Fox Wars' Lori Brown live in Dallas with the story. Clarice, the Dallas City Council Committee directed staff to look into the feasibility of a study about how charter schools are impacting the area and the schools around them. According to one city council member, the city does have the right to deny a permit to a charter school if it would hurt a neighborhood school. There is an attack on public education. Dallas ISD trustee Joyce Foreman called on Dallas City Council members to put a stop to the proliferation of charter schools in Southern Dallas. Past 35 and Keist, there's a charter school on it. Every major ingress and egress. In three years, charter schools have grown from 13% of DISD's potential students to about 15%. Some council members question the authority of the city to place a moratorium on additional charter schools. I don't think at a council level we should be doing our zoning on picking winners and losers, even if there's a lot in there, because if the marketplace is saying this is what we want, Four men, like many public school advocates, worries that charters will take an increasing amount of money from the state education budget. The state provides 100% of a charter school's budget compared with 35% for DISD. State spending per student is higher for charter schools, but charters cannot tap into local tax revenues, which are a big part of public school budgets. Still, some city council members are concerned about the competition for state funds. It's fair for me to say that every dollar that goes to a charter school is one dollar less that's available for DISD. Correct. DISD recently proposed turning some schools over to private organizations in part so they can receive additional funds like those that go to charter schools. But that leads to questions of oversight because the money would be managed by privately appointed school boards. The state says here's $1,800 if you'll privatize right. the schools right. and then you do it and and that you wind up funding private education rather than public education. After a public outcry, DISD's proposal involving partnerships with private organizations was pulled from the agenda last month, but it is expected to be back on the agenda for a briefing next week, but in a different form.